my little sugar buggers, welcome back to the channel for yet another speed build. So the other day I was playing around with the toddler stuff pack and I saw these big old balloons that you can actually resize and I kind of got like this wild hair up my culito to try to recreate the house from Disney Pixar's Up, which honestly I was quickly regretting kind of like mid build because even though this house is really simplistic, it isn't my build style. So I had to kind of branch out a little bit and just go with the flow. I was struggling so bad with the roof. I don't know why it was giving me such a hard time. I don't know if maybe I'm just not doing it right. I'm not much of a builder, so, you know, there's that. Um, but as you guys can see, as we're going through, pieces of the roof kept disappearing. So I know I am jump cutting, and it may seem to you like you're missing parts of the build, but trust me, you're not. It was mostly probably 15 to 20 minutes of me struggling to get this um, roof to just work because as you guys can see it is a split level home but then you know you have like this roof kind of encasing that top level um, so it was definitely a little bit of a struggle and it also kind of solidified the idea that I was going to do this it wasn't only just the balloons but the fence the fence is literally the same it is like the the gate it's the exact same gate from Disney's um uh from the from the movie I'm sorry and I had to do it at that point I was like okay it, it's been written in the stars it is definitely a sign girl get your big girl panties on let's do this you know um so that's what I did and then I had to use some custom content wallpapers because this house has some funky donkey colors to it now the original house I think does have like a black um, kind of scalloped roof but I didn't like the black for some reason on you know this color palette with all these wonky colors I felt like it was so traditional so I decided to hypothetically have whatever since we're living here um, go ahead and give the roof a little bit of a revamp bring it to 2017 and we decided to go in with a lighter kind of brown scalloped roof um, what else did I do to the outside that I really feel like I needed to tell you? Oh, I originally wasn't even going to have this house um, be a two-story, but I felt like I put a lot of work into it. I want you guys to be able to enjoy it, use it for your families, um, that sort of thing. So I worked really, really, really hard um, to get the second level as functional as I possibly can. Um, it is a little bit of an eyesore with the roofs. It's kind of like hard to see in, which I think is pretty prominent in a lot of builds that use kind of like these um, livable uh, attic spaces, I guess is kind of what you can call them. So when you have like the walls completely down, it works, it's fine. Um, but when you have the uh, walls up, you're going to notice like there's kind of like the roof you know, um, obstructing your view, which is a little annoying. So anyway, I'm, I'm, what did I do? I thought I cut that out. Damn it. Okay. Anyway. Um, so I do kind of go off camera and try to make everything functional. Cause honestly, do you really want to see 20 minutes of me struggling? Probably not. So now that we've got the shell of the house out of the way, I have a question for you and I'd love to ask you guys questions cause it makes me, well, it helps me get to know you just a little bit better. Um, what is your favorite Disney movie of all time? time or Pixar movie um, mine has to be the Lion King ever since I was a little girl the Lion King has just been one of my most absolute favorite movies um, another one from when I was a little girl was definitely Aladdin uh, I always wanted to be Jasmine oh and Hercules so I have like a few that are my favorite like those are probably my three favorite movies if I had to pick um, Lion King Hercules and Aladdin Hercules and Lion King more than anything else but anyway um, those are mine what are yours I want to know and uh how many of you have actually watched this movie yeah. <laughs> probably are like mm, girl what the hell did you build this time this balloons coming out of the chimney but uh yeah this house is actually really cute i love it to pieces i think it's just so adorable and i'm really proud of myself because honestly like i said this is so out of my build style and i hope that i in the future can build more homes like this um i was really scared that i wasn't going to be able to like achieve this so i'm really happy that i believed in myself and went full throttle and did not you know hold back at all um, I definitely had to make some adaptations to make this house work, so it's probably not an exact 122% replica of the up house, but I think I came pretty close. Um, I honestly feel like this house is very outdated. Uh, that's the kind of vibe I got from it. It's just super funky, and I don't know, it has a lot of character to it, but there are also parts of it that are really old. Um, I'm not really sure if this is like a Victorian-esque house, like what style of home this is. I have no idea. Um, so in the inside, I kind of played off of it 
as if it was. Uh, and then there is the outside with the cute little fence. I love it so much. It's kind of like a pinky color because I think that's what it looks like in the film. Um, and then if you guys go and look at the actual house itself in the movie, you'll see that the fence is the same. And that honestly was so mind-boggling to me. I wonder if they got any sort of like influence from it at all or that's like purely coincidence. I don't know. So there is even a little place in the back where you can kind of, you know, put some things outside. A little deck. Uh, you can enjoy the backyard. I don't know where you would put this house. I originally built it in Newcrest um, just because, you know, I felt like the lot size was appropriate because it is in the movie um, on a very small lot and I guess the city is kind of growing around this house and oh, it's so sad they want him to leave. <laughs> so he puts a whole bunch of balloons and he says, hasta luego, sayonara, sisters. And he gets the hell out of there and travels the world in his little house. I love it. Um, that movie is so sweet. I don't want to give too much away in case you haven't watched it. But if you have kids, you definitely got to watch it. It's a good time. So anyway, we're going through and adding in some flooring. I wanted to really um, play with the, again, anything Victorian, anything kind of like back in the day. I feel like the vampire stuff pack is my go-to. It is my sister from another mister. I can not believe I just referred to a game pack as that, but you know, when you're running out of things to say, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, so I definitely feel like whenever I'm creating kind of like these old fashioned esque homes, that is the pack that has just got my back 100%. So I am using the flooring from there. And then I'm even using some city living stuff. I really love the fact that in city living, they've given us a lot of options for kind of like these really um, run down items or weathered items. So I'm using the linoleum from that. And then I'm also using the wallpaper too in the down um, in downstairs in the living room. Because I wanted to show that even though this house is really cute and quirky and, you know, um, fun, it still has some parts of it that are really weathered and old. And this is a two bedroom. So you will be able to go ahead and use that second bedroom room um, for whatever your heart desires. Maybe you do want to turn this into a family home. I'm not really sure. So another Francis. Do you hear him? He is so damn obnoxious. When Pets comes out, I swear to you, I swear to you, I will recreate him and I will probably, I will probably paint something on him. I don't know. I will take out all my aggression. I if you don't know who Francis is, it is this little, like, I don't even know what kind of, it looks like a schnauzer. I don't know what kind of dog it is. He's black. He looks like a flea. He honestly drives the living crap out of me. Like, I don't know if Francis is a boy or a girl. I think it's a girl. I don't know. I say it's a girl. Sometimes I say it's a boy. Honestly, Francis may not even have a gender at this point, but he every single time I do a video. And then, okay, let me just tell you, side note, <laughs> Francis's owner, for all those who follow this freaking story, Chad fighting with the dog. <laughs> so when you know you don't have any friends. Um, they got a they got a trainer for him or her. And the other day the trainer was out there teaching the owner um, how to like, you know, basically get him to obey because obviously this barking is a problem. He does it all the time. Um, and other neighbors have actually complained. Like I've seen it happening. People like walking from their houses up to the window when Francis is out or not the window, but the gate and like talking to the owner. I'm assuming whatever, maybe not, maybe I'm just being hella dramatic. Um, but anyway, so they had this trainer out and they're teaching the owner like how to get Francis to stop barking with a clicker. So every time he clicks or every time he barks, this owner clicks and she's out there like 24 seven with her clicker. It's not working, girl. <laughs> But this dog is so defiant. It's ridiculous. I am not a dog person, y'all. I just don't. I don't know what it is about them. I, t I can tolerate them, but I definitely would not want to have a dog ever, 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 ever. I don't know what it is. Um, I think they're cute and adorable, and I love Pomeranians. I think those are cute. Like, smaller dogs, I love them. Um, Huskies, absolutely gorgeous. There's some dogs, but this dog, not so much. Anyway, um, that's me and my little tangent about Francis. Hallelujah. Okay. So, anyway, uh, here we are again with some more vampire stuff. Stuff, I did kind of jump cut the kitchen a bunch and that is because I swapped out the counters not once not twice but three times I went from stuff from parenthood to the vampire pack and then I went with some base game stuff because I wanted the kitchen to kind of have some dark cherry wood in it now upstairs I don't know what your girl was thinking when she decided to go ahead and put in some turquoise carpet you know I'm trying to be eccentric here I think outside the box that kind of thing it's a wacky house it's kind of like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory in a casita you know but I decided to essentially go with some gray carpet that's really beautiful and I know you're probably 
she's saying, Jen, what, you, what were you thinking with that um, <laughs> bright canary yellow wallpaper? <gasps> I wasn't thinking. Um, there's so many problems with this house. I can't even explain. I want to cry. I worked so hard. Uh, I don't know. If every time I change that little section of wallpaper, even using the tool that just goes by wall, it changes the outside wallpaper too. So I just had to make it look like I did that on purpose and I put some like holes in the wall. I don't know, I don't do this for real. Okay, so going in and finally adding the cherry on top, the creme de la creme, I'm putting in some balloons. Really want to know something about me? I'm terrified of balloons. I'm not kidding, I'm scared, I hate them. Um, I wouldn't say it's a phobia, Actually, it used to be like seriously, you cannot you cannot put me anywhere near balloons. Ever since I was a little girl, I don't know what it is. So it's a very ironic to me that I'm creating a house with balloons when I kind of hate them. Like I don't know, I guess I kind of grew out of it. When I was little, I went to like this little circus or something with just people, and or it wasn't like it was an acrobatic act. I don't know. And then you, like popped balloons or a balloon popped or something happened. I can't really remember. I was probably like three at the time, and ever since then, because it scared me and caught me off guard. I hated balloons every time I'm around one I feel like it's just gonna pop spontaneously uh, and it's gonna scare the hell out of me that's what it is it keeps they keep me on edge um, and it's really embarrassing I don't think I ever grew out of that fear uh, until recently I remember for one of my birthday parties when I was at work my friend she got me this big bouquet of just beautiful beautiful balloons and I did not want to take them home. I did not want to put them in the car. I was so scared. And like, I'm literally clenching my jaw right now and I have my hands up to my cheeks. Oh my God. <laughs> Jennifer scared of balloons. You learn something every day, don't you? Okay, anyway, moving on. Yeah, so the problem with these balloons in particular, they don't pop, so you don't have to worry, but the, the cushions, I want, I want, hello, hi, CC creators, it's me, your annoying YouTuber who always asks for things. Hi, because I'm too lazy to do it myself. Um, can you possibly take the damn cushions off the balloons? Because, um, yeah. Anyway, oh, also, I didn't get the chance to put it in, but Spring Sims here on YouTube, if you really want the full trifecta of the up house actually recreated the mailbox yes he did I know it's crazy um he's actually dabbling in some CC working right now and I'm really proud of him because he's doing really well I can't I just can't I don't know I'm a creative person but I can't you know so I will link that down below in case you guys want to put the uh, mailbox in your game too Again, he created it after I created this house, so I didn't have the opportunity to do that, but I really wish I would have had it beforehand. I probably should have contacted him, but I didn't. But anyway, um, so anything else? Yeah, the cushions are a little bit of a big deal. They do take up some of the empty space um, on the second floor of the roof. They kind of clip into the spare bedroom, and I leave that bedroom completely blank. I like to do that sometimes. Um, I mean, I personally appreciate a blank room when I'm downloading a lot, so I can make it whatever I want to make it into. To, um, and I don't have to like go in and delete everything. See, there's Jennifer being indecisive again. Like, oh, you, I just keep destroying things. I make them and then I destroy them. And what else is new, you know? So, yeah, the balloons might be a little of an issue upstairs. You don't need to keep them. It's just for like aesthetics, you know? Like, obviously, this house isn't going to just float away <laughs> if you have them, but you never know. All right, so we're finishing up the last few final details. I love these lamps. I love these lamps from the Vampire Stuff Pack. I actually used a few things that I haven't used before. I even I caught myself going, oh, this is base game a couple times. Like, I felt like they were, they were really new. And for once, I'm also not using the ceiling lights that I use in every single build like I actually put a little effort into it this time so you know there's that <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, well I loved hanging out with you and chatting with you and telling you all about my woes and my fears and my things like that. Um, so yeah, I want to know what favorite movies from Disney or Pixar you have and then you can also share your most, you know, strangest fear with me too. I love asking you guys questions because you come up with this most silliest answers and we laugh and we chat and we just have a good time. But uh, I'm going to go finish off with the landscaping but I'm going to let you all um, go here. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine. And I will, I promise this time, I will put up a non-CC version of this house because it is just too cute for you guys to miss out on. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I think I said it already, but hey, <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>